the blood of, of Martin Luther King is, it has been shed in vain. That's how I see the Afrocentric or the Black Focus School model. Even the Premier of Ontario, Dalton McGuinty, got involved in the Afrocentric school debate. I am disappointed with the board's decision. I don't support it and we won't fund it. That's all for today. Thank you. You shouldn't say those things, you know. The board is autonomous. What are your thoughts on the Afrocentric school? Look, there's Elizabeth Whitmer. Next question. In my humble opinion, it is, um, it's an interesting dilemma that we're in because I could say to the premier, for example, if an auto company had almost half of their product that were failing, were not good, you would think that they would do something about this. And, and so I look at it in the same way. If 40% of these students are failing, we need to fix it. So it's pretty simple for me. And and, and I think it, it just goes back to the perception that people have about a great number of black people altogether, that there's something negative about that. And so that's his discomfort with that, rather than trying to fix what's going to happen, unless he's part of the plan to have black students be the underclass of our society. Well, I, th I think the, uh, the premier, uh, those are comments from a man that has not, uh, has, has really not a lot outside of stats. He has no contact with, this, with these areas. I mean, they can come down in their chauffeur driven cars down to Queens Park. Uh, they can blow smoke up our ASS for three or four hours a day, climb back in their chauffeur-driven cars and go to where they live. They're not down there with these people. So he doesn't, and I, I gotta tell you, the people that he surrounds himself with from the black communities are basically yes people. That's why they're there, they know how to tap dance. Um, I think that uh, Premier McGinty is a very balanced fellow uh, who's a very thoughtful man, um, uh, but he's a politician and he needs to be careful in, in terms of what he says or how he says it. But I think uh, deep down inside, he's not on board with the idea. Well, the premier of the province is the premier of the province and as such has a responsibility to, to look at, uh, at how the province of which he's, he is a leader works as a total environment. I am, we are a school board in an urban environment. Uh, we're looking at that within a particular context. Um, uh, in many thing, in many in, in many of the, uh, the areas, uh, the provincial view uh, of the world uh, may not necessarily be the same as uh, a local situation. For for Dalton McGinty to say <laughs> all these negative things against Afrocentric school and calling segregation and oh we're gonna I'm gonna shut down all these schools, blah blah blah, what have you. Well, I remember the same argument with the Catholic parents when John Tory was saying, let's spread the wealth to the other religious schools. They threatened, they said they're the Vatican, the Pope, what have you, you know, and, and, and because how dare you take away this enrichment, right, that we're entitled to through the Constitution, blah, 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 whatever. So I say, how dare Dalton McGinty um, you know, Catholic schoolboy comes and not un, um, tries to take away something that is very legal, very necessary, and very constitutional.
To date, Premier McGuinty has made no changes to this policy and at the same time is against funding the Afrocentric school. Many in the black and ethnic community see these actions as discriminatory. What are your thoughts on the issue? I'm not quite sure one is linked to the other. And I haven't heard that argument uh, being made that, uh, that, that Catholics are getting their education uh, and so blacks should if they want to. I'm not quite sure I've heard that argument. Uh, I know you just made it, but uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not necessarily thinking that that is a correct link. And I don't support that link, by the way. And I, would, I don't support Black Focus School on the basis of the argument that had just been presented. What? I support Black Focus Schools as a way of, of reaching some students who want to be a, in a Black Focus School and bringing about a different outcome. And using that outcome and that experience as a way of teaching the regular system how to do it better. But the argument that, we te that Catholics have a constitutional right to their own education uh, and, uh, uh, and that black somehow should have the same constitutional right because Catholics uh, have it uh, and it would, uh, would otherwise be discriminatory as an argument. I don't buy that as an argument. Certain members of the black community have suggested that to understand the need for the school, you have to ask, what are the obstacles facing black youth in urban areas? Listen, I went to Sir Oliver Moore. It gained more white because you have more white people than black. And the people who dropped out, I don't remember any black person dropping out of that school. The people who dropped out were always white or brown or Chinese. No, not Chinese, but white or brown. One of the two. You understand? No black people dropped out. And me, I've been to school for so